Drug trafficking is a global illicit trade involving the cultivation, manufacturing, distribution and sale of substances which is subject to drug prohibition laws. Over time, drug business is on the rise and thus the need to intensify the move and curb and curtail the scourge. Galaxy News correspondent Labi Joseph filed in this report. Arrests of hundreds of thousands of drug offenders by National Drug Law Enforcement Agency between 2021 and this year shows the unprecedented rise in drug trafficking and abuse in Nigeria. Drug use prevalence in Nigeria, according to the United Nations Office on Drug and Crime, was nearly 15 percent, almost three times higher than the global average. The quantum of drugs getting to the Nigerian public space is alarming. Hard drug as a substance that changes the way you think, feel or behave like cannabis, cocaine, LSD, amphetamines and heroin are being smuggled into the community space by drug lords to make money and thereby destroying the future of promising Nigerian youth. Once a country is considered a pariah country, that is a country that is not doing sufficiently to fight drug trafficking, they might not be taken seriously in the community of nations. That means some countries might not do business with your country the way they are expected to. So that means you'll be in isolation. And because also drug trafficking can engender restiveness and criminality and the insecurity. And if that be the case, once there's insecurity in the country, the productive capacity of the country is reduced. Our drug, can I say it is a problem? The consequences is far beyond in which individual can think of, even though the government. The consequences of drugs, I pray that government will come, the society will come, family will come up, will tackle it holistically. And thereby destroy the future of many promising youth in the process. Collaboration among law enforcement, health and social service agencies, parents and community leaders can help reduce demand which fuels drug trafficking activities which often involve in violence and crime. You know, when people are greedy, on youth, uh, certain sectors of the uh, segment of society are, are pushed into a particular uh, activity because of greed. They might not really look at the rationality behind what they are doing, rather they look at the, at, at, at the propensity to satisfy their greed. You know, again, the issue of uh, get-rich-quick syndrome. People that don't really want to be patient and do the right thing. They just want to hit it big and get rich, get rich uh, quick. That also has been a, a mitigative factor. There are so many negative consequences of illicit drug in the society, ranging from physical, social, psychological. The physical aspects, we're talking about substance use it's an X issue so you because it's going to it, it destroys vital organs in the body whereby like the liver the lungs the brain the heart and you know when these things are they have they 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 they, 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 they have their damage the the end the consequence is what death treating addicts and preventing the onset of drug use can complement law enforcement effort to reduce supply Therefore, all key stakeholders must rise up to combat the ugly phenomenon. It starts with the family. It behoves parents to train their children with good moral values. Last year alone, we arrested the cocaine of over 40 kilograms. They have to be precise, 40.022 kilograms of cocaine. Last year again, we were arrested over 25 kilograms. That's a precise 25.200 kilograms of heroin. The total of persons that were arrested in that same period were what are 30 persons, male, out of which male is uh, what are 14 and female 16. That is the 2023 year alone. From January to March, in Lagos State month as a whole, we have arrested more than 26 tons of cannabis at the different from other various drugs, cocaine, cannabis, and that. And we have seized almost 15 or 18 vehicles, trucks, moving this truck from the Lekki, Aja Asis into Lagos. 
into the Nigeria. Economic disparities and lack of employment opportunities in certain regions are among the common cause of drug trafficking. Illicit activities don't just benefit organized crime. They also harm communities by causing more violence, addiction, and social instability. It's to reduce drug abuse to the barest minimum. You know, supply effect reduction. So what we are doing is that by the time we're able to remove this drug from the society, even people that have what? They are already having substance use disorder. And they are playing telling them, you need this substance, you need this substance. If they don't have, if they can't find it on the, on the streets, definitely the supply will be cut off. And it will, it will make the user, the end user, not to get their stuff to use as well. Whatever drug brings, it's not factored into the, into the planning of the economy. You know, whatever it brings. And of course, it brings a lo uh, also with it uh, health challenges, those that are into it addiction and the associated problems. It also helps to fuel uh, criminality, especially bad in the north. Like most of this uh, tramador, we found out that uh, they are trafficked to the north and they are used to fuel the Boko Haram and other suggestions in the north.